Greetings hobbyists, this is Artisans of Vool. And in this video we're talking about proportional scaling in Blender. So often proportional scaling isn't too much of an issue to begin with. Firstly, we get this as we add objects in, so we can just increase the size as much as we want for an object or for let's say a cylinder, we get the option of increasing the depth and the radius individually. So we can sort this out as we go and then we click and it's here. But once we've now got this, setting this proportionally to scale can be a little bit annoying, at least when you've got a specific size in mind. If we just hit the M panel and go to item, we have scale information here. So we can do things with this. So we can just click and drag all of them and then we can set this to a specific number. For example, I could do like two and everything's gonna to scale to twice the size. Now this seems perfectly fine, but sometimes we don't want to be doing things with the scale. We want to be doing things with dimension. And this came up recently when I was helping someone out. Let's just bring in a base mesh. I'm going to use this model here because it's what we were talking about. And let's talk about the issue here. So we wanted this base mesh set to a specific height. And obviously we could, again, do that with the scaling. But that is not exactly what we wanted. And we could do the maths to work this out, but that seems really tedious. What we wanted to be able to do is set this Z height to 20 and then hit enter and now we get in very, very elongated and stretched. So how are we gonna solve this? Well, there's a number of ways. So let's just shift and D and then X and then we'll talk through the two primary methods. So the first method is free. It's all with Blender, but it's a bit tedious. We could come here to change the Z to let's say 20 and then we can come to the scale. We can just hold our mouse over the scale and hit control and C. We don't need to go into this and then we can control and V here and control and V there and we've got everything scaled. So it's not particularly long, but it is a little bit annoying that we have to do this. The other option we can use is part of an add-on. It's part of hard ops and I love hard ops. It has loads and loads of different tools we can use. If I hit Q, one of them in operations is a tool called AccuShape. And if I click on this, it then puts a box around our object. I'm guessing this is like a lattice because it says lattice here. And we've got some other ways of doing this around empties, but we get our dimensions here as an exact amount. Now at the moment this says meters even though I have no units, but you can change this to metric or imperial for whatever you want to do. And you can change the anchor point if you say want to move it from the bottom. So it just scales upwards. In fact, let's do this. Let's set it to bottom. Then we can change the height. So I can type in my amount. So I wanted this to be 10, no 20 was what we wanted it to be. And as long as this E is selected, which means to have everything equal to each other, and I hit space, this is going to show how big this model is gonna become. And then we hit space again, and it scales up to that size perfectly. It has done everything we needed to do, and it's automatically applied the scale to keep the scale as one. So a really nice quick tool. Now where this becomes especially powerful is where you've got an object where you've got lots of different individual objects making up this overall piece. And I realized that I needed to scale this helmet down after doing a test print and it not quite being the right size. Now I want to keep this non-destructive and some of these are still curves. For example, if I have a look at this cable here, this has just been made by having a depth added to it. So what I needed to do is just drag this, Q, and you'll notice because I've got some curves, it's got many less options, but we've still got AccuShape. Click that, it displays our overall size, and I need to change my length, so this axis here, from being seven point whatever it is, to being about 6.5. Space, shows what size it's now gonna be, and then space again, and everything has been scaled down. So a really nice tool to use when you need to proportionally scale an object or multiple objects together. As always, if you found that useful, hit that like button. Firstly, I really appreciate it because it gets Blender's algorithms going, but also it means that more people are likely to see the video if it's something they need help with. And finally, if you haven't got hard ops and are interested in it, there's a playlist in the description so you can see more of what hard ops can do. And there's also some affiliate links, which means you can purchase it at no extra cost to you, but a bit of money goes towards the channel and helps give me the time to create all these videos. Have a great day, guys.